Riding in a bike park can be pretty taxing for your bike. All the rocks, roots, jumps, drops, lumps and bumps all take their toll on your bike, whether it's your spokes on your wheels or simply just a few bolts rattling loose. At the end of every day, you should make sure you spend some time giving your bike a full safety check for the next day riding. These are the things you need to look at. Riding in any park is especially hard on your wheels, whether that's your tyres, rims, spokes or anything else. So to start with, look at both of your wheels and make sure your tyres are still inflated at the end of every day. Systematically work around the whole casing of the tyre, looking for any slashes and nicks in there. Anything that might be able to be repaired now, this is the time to do it. You don't want to be finding out on the trail that you've got a slash in the tyre that later leads to a puncture. Next up, work around the whole rim Look for damage on the rim sidewalls. You're looking for anything that's curled in. If it's excessive, you want to take the tire off completely and re-bend this out. If it's minor dings, you can leave this. Just be aware of where they are and monitor them. Now, obviously, the spokes are the part that hold the whole wheel together. So you just want to work out if you've got any loose spokes or any that are even snapped. So just work your way around. You're looking for the spokes to feel roughly the same in tension. If any are loose, just nip them up tight. Don't go too far, though, because you can actually make the wheel worse. Finally, the last things you want to look at is actually making sure that the wheels are secured to the bike properly. Check your maxle, your axle, whichever sort of system it is that's holding onto the bike. Make sure it's adjusted correctly and there's no excessive play. And lastly, but not least, with, involved with the wheels, is check your rotor bolts. Make sure they're all tight and you're not missing any. And while you're in the same area, check the caliper bolts that hold the brakes to the actual frame of the bike and to the fork. Make sure they're all tight and nothing's missing. Now the frame of the bike is obviously crucial to make sure this is all safe and in one piece. So structurally you want to make sure there are no cracks or dents that can lead to cracks. Prime areas to check are around the head tube, just on the underside here, by the bottom bracket shell and anything on the back of the bike, around the seat stays, chain stays and even where they join to the main pivot here. Systematically work your way around, check all of your pivot bolts are tight and nothing is missing and make sure the frame doesn't have any play that's developed. If you're unsure about any play that you do find, take it straight to a bike shop because you don't want to ride with knackered bearings or anything loose that can lead to more expensive problems down the line. Next up is the cockpit of the bike. This is where you hold on to the bike, it's a business end, so make sure that this is all honed, nothing is loose, nothing is bent or damaged. Start by checking your grips. If you're not using a lock-on style grip, make sure they're both stuck in place properly and you've also got bar end plugs. If you haven't got bar end plugs, you have a crash, there's danger of getting a core sample, so you don't want to be doing that. If you're using lock-on grips, make sure the bolts are tightened sufficiently, there's no movement in the grip. You do not want these to come off when you're riding. Next up, check the bar and stem contact points themselves. Make sure all of the bolts are tight, there's nothing missing, and make sure they're equally tight, and if possible, tighten to a recommended torque setting. Granted, if you're on a riding holiday, you're unlikely to have one of those, so use your common sense and don't over-tighten the bolts. When you're tightening your stem bolts, make sure that your headset isn't over-tightened and also make sure it's not loose because the headset can rattle loose on a severe day's riding in the gravity park. Finally, you want to make sure your brake levers are in exactly the right position for you and they're not going to be moving around too much. Make sure to tighten to the bar sufficiently, but you do want these to be able to move in the event of a crash so it doesn't actually cause the brake lever to snap. So as you can see by mine, I can move them if I push them or pull them very, very hard, but they're unlikely to move in actual use. Check the lever blade bolts themselves because they're notorious for rattling loose. And if that happens, your brake lever is coming off mid-trail. That could be pretty horrific. Don't need to spell out what can happen there. Finally, check the lever travel to the bars because a long day riding a bike park, you can wear out your brake pads. Your brakes might even need bleeding. So check that they're consistent and they feel just right. If not, then maybe you need to do a little bit more to your bike. Now your suspension is pretty crucial when you're riding a bike park, A for comfort, B for safety and C because it's really good to be using all of that expensive suspension on your bike. When you're doing a frame check, make sure you check the bolts front and rear of the shock are tight and there's no play in the bushings. It's not going to damage your bike too much if there is play but it's not ideal so you can get bushings very easily from any bike shop and at a resort like Whistler there's enough of them to pick from so get that sorted before it develops into a bigger problem. Also. Take note of how much suspension travel you've been using. At the beginning of the day riding, set your O-ring nearest to the shock and just monitor it throughout the day. If you're using all of your travel, that's fine, but if you notice your bike feels a bit harsh or you're not using all that travel, maybe you want to consider using a little less compression damping or lowering your air pressure. Perhaps at home you use 25% sag, in a bike park you might want to use a bit more for comfort and grip. Make sure your seals are dry, clean, and if possible, you want to treat them to a bit of lube. 
Finally, you want to be looking at the transmission of your bike and also the cranks. So starting up front with the cranks, check they're not loose and make sure that the, the left-hand crank isn't loose. It's normally the one that does come loose. And it's attached to the bike usually by an 8mm Allen key bolt. So check that and also check your pedals are secure at the same time. On this particular bike, I don't have chainring bolts. The chainring itself mounts directly to the crank. But if your bike has got chainring bolts, they are a likely contender for coming loose. Finally, you want to make sure your rear derailleur is not damaged and it's tightened to the bike sufficiently. Start off by checking the main derailleur hanger bolt. These often unwind on a long rough descent, so check that's tight. Also the hanger directly to the frame. Next up is to check the jockey wheel bolts. If your jockey wheels fall out mid-ride, you're probably going to lose your chain or get tangled up. So that is your bike safety check done. It's a good idea to do this at home, whether you're riding in a bike park or not, just to make sure your bike is in tip-top condition. So for a brake bleed service, check down here. And for checking out how to maintain your pedals and service hose, click down here. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the globe in the middle here. There's a brand new video every single day. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up.